Okay, so we got a few second-hand Lenovo desktops at work and they've came pre-installed with Windows 7. So what I want to do is press Windows and R and have a look at the system information. So I see that they're model 10AA S1NM01 and their BIOS version is FBKT75 AUS and SM BIOS version is 2.8 and I'm wanting to update the UFI BIOS enable secure boot and get rid of Windows 7 and install Windows 10 so let's go to the Lenovo website and under product I'm going to type in the 10AA S1NM01 and once I've done this it detects it's a M93P desktop which is correct so that's a good sign okay so I'm here to update the bias so what I'm going to do is scroll down and select bias slash UFI and I see a number of updates offered but what I want is flash UFI bias update flash from the operating system version okay so let's save it and I'm going to go ahead and run the UFI BIOS update okay so we'll accept the user account control prompt okay so let's accept the license agreement select next and then we've got a folder which it extracts the files to and then I select finish and that's disappointing because all it did was extract files and it didn't install the BIOS update at all so what we're going to do is go into the C drive open this extracted folder so SW tools flash and then FB JYC6 USA and there's a readme in here and basically it tells us that we need to flash the UFI bias using an elevated command prompt okay so to do this I'm going to click the start button and then I'm going to type in CMD and we'll see the command prompt and I need to right click it and select run as administrator I need to accept the user account control prompt and then I'm going to type in the command daylist so it's cd which stands for change directory and then c and then colon and then the left slash and then sw tools which is the name of that folder and then the left slash and then flash and then left slash which is the name of the next folder and then fb jyc6 usa slash which is the name of the next folder and then here what we want to do is type in flash.cmd and it'll ask us if we want to update the serial number so we're going to type in n here because we want to keep the serial number the same and it will ask us if we want to update the machine type and here I'm going to type in N again because I want to keep the mach machine type the same so after pressing enter it should begin the UFI bias update and 
don't need to restart now. So when we see the shutting down screen, and then we'll see the Lenovo splash screen, and we'll see the UFI bias update performing. Okay, so we'll see the Lenovo UFI bias splash screen and starting Windows now. And now I'll be back on the Windows 7 desktop. So what I'm going to do again is press Windows and R and type in MS Info 32 and press enter. Okay, so now I can look at the bias version and I see it's basically became FBKT C6 AUS so it's quite strange Lenovo's numbering systems for the UFI bias update and the fact that they don't call it FBJY C6 USA. So I guess FBJY C6 USA and FBKT C6 AUS have C6 in common and I don't know if USA stands for the USA and if AUS stands for Australia but I'm just going to agree that their numbering system is a bit strange and doesn't really make sense to me but the date is there and the newer bias version has a newer date as expected so let's just shut down this Windows 7 installation. Okay, so I'm going to power up this Lenovo tapping F12 and this will take me to the boot menu. So from the boot menu, I can press the down arrow key until I get to enter setup. So I'll do that just now and let's have a look through the setup. So what we want to do is disable CSM and we want to enable secure boot. So in the Dell UFI bias, it would probably call this legacy ROMs instead of CSM and secure boot would be secure boot. So we can see the boot sequence here. And we can see that my USB is listed. So let's just save this configuration and exit. Now I don't actually have a Windows 10 bootable USB attached to the system. I have a parted magic one. So I'm going to boot from this and securely wipe the Lenovo. And once I've done this, I can clean install Windows 10.